Hello, I hope you are well. Welcome to my new subscribers. Today we are going to Jasmonite. Uh, I'm, I'm still trying to solve the Ecopur uh, failure from last video, from the last Ecopur video. Um, I'll put the link uh, there. No, no. <laughs> It's going to be there, in the top right hand corner of your screen. Uh, so, we are going to make jasmonite. I'm going to use my divider cup, my compartment cup, to fill the little mold and this candle holder. It makes a, a nice set, I think. I wanted to use colors that I don't necessarily use. There is yellow, there is blue and apricot. I've put it all in the description box. Don't forget to check it because I always put what I have used, especially the colors. I try not to forget to put them. <laughs> so, check it out. It's under the video. Right, I've prepared the measures of jasmonite, the liquid and then the powder. Here we go. The proportions are one part liquid to two and a half parts of powder. I've got a video explaining everything in detail. I'll put the, li the link under the video. And now, uh, with my whisk, I whisk. <laughs> I always uh, put the powder in several times. So, I'm going to put my whisk uh, in water and I'm going to add some white to my mixture because uh, jasmonite is always a little beige which annoys me. <laughs> Oops, I must be coming to the end of my bottle, I think. Yes, not more in this bottle. So, I mix well with my stick. It, You can see it makes uh, the jasmonite a little uh, whiter. And uh, then I pour into my compartment cup. Oh, <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Trying to pour cleanly and uh, in equal parts. Since I've got some leftover jasmonite, I'll just pour a few drops of pigment. Oh, I used too much. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> it's all gone in a big uh, gush rush. I don't know how to say. <laughs> so I'm going to pour into this mold I have next to me. Oh, if I really put too much pigment in uh, with uh, this pigment from Homeware Design, uh, you need one drop or two, but <laughs> here. <laughs> so I don't have quite enough jasmonite to fill my whole mo mold, but that's okay. I'll fill it with another color or something else. I'll see uh, once it's dry. I uh, scrap my jar well enough to use it all and I'm going to put my jar in uh, in water too. Uh, it, it makes cleanup easier. <laughs> well, now my cup colors. I have to hurry. Um, I shake my first mold a little for the air bubbles. But I still have to hurry because jasmonite has a relatively short jar life. About 15 minutes. So, a drop this time. Just a drop. <laughs> Oops. 
that was a bubble. It wasn't really a drop there. I'm going to mix it because sometimes you can't see very well. No, no, no. It was definitely a bubble. <laughs> so one drop. This time it's a drop. And I mix my pigment. You can see that with just one drop the color shows up very well. So I'm going to continue with my blue and uh, my yellow. Uh, these two are, are not homeware design. This is a little, the little, uh, no, uh, La Petite Epicerie. Yes, it's a French store. The pigmentation is completely different. It's uh, only at Homeware Design Co. that I have found really top, top, top pigmentation. When I made this video, I said that since it's based in England, they don't ship to France at the moment. And uh, I really regretted it, it because uh, it's really, really pigmented. It's really great. Uh, but I just checked. International shipping has restarted. Great! I'm so happy! And the range of colors uh, they offer is really great too. Oh, yes, I'm happy with that. Uh, on the other side, I'm going to put some yellow mm, after the blue. Mm, so I've got my fingers full of it. Um, I'm going to scrape the sides to, to soak up the white. I hope the yellow and blue um, won't give me green. I'm not a fan of green, but, well, it depends. <laughs> So I tap my first mold for air bubbles, but it began to 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 dry. So okay, I'll start with my little coaster. I would like uh, everything to flow together. Mm. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Obviously, I had to make it flow outside, normal. But I like the effect it's having so far. It's, uh, it really gives me three colors. No green, no green. I'm happy. <laughs> Now the candle holder, or the little pencil jar, it's up to you, as you like. <laughs> this time it's pink that comes first. Oh, these compartment cups are um, a little bit annoying. <laughs> so far, so good. Well, I, I have got a little left. I'm going to pour uh, in this bookmark mold from Timu. And let's see how it comes out. And now a big tapping. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. I hope the bubbles come to the surface. I don't want to put anything to inside because otherwise the colors will, will blend. 
will more mix, um, I'd be afraid of the result. So, I take great care to tap it all down. <laughs> I leave the first one uh, because uh, I think I'm going to pour resin over it. I don't touch it anymore because it's starting to cure. Well, now we can unmold first the bookmark. It's very pop colors. Oh, it's cute! So I don't know if you can see, there's, uh, there are little earths. Yes, I don't know if you can see well, but it's so cute! Now, let's see this, uh, this coaster. Anyway, I like the effect. Wow! What do you think? It's uh, very spring-like. <laughs> uh, it's a shame I don't have much pink. It came a little later. Well, obviously, I've got a few damn air bubbles. Mm, I ate these air bubbles. So, let's move on to the little jar or the little candle holder. It's a little more difficult. Well, difficult. It's not impossible. It requires a little effort to unmold. Yes, just a, a little effort. <laughs> and voila! Oh, I, I think it's very 70s. Uh, the colors are a bit uh, pop, a little psychedelic. <laughs> um, I'm going to leave it to, to dry for a few days and then I apply my uh, waterproofing. It, uh, it will bring the whole thing out a bit, I think. Well, I'm not unhappy with the colors. Uh, they are not my usual colors, but I like uh, the 70s look. Yes, the, the bookmark, you have to wait for it to harden flat. Well, yes, I really like the back. I prefer the back on top for the coaster uh, and for the little candle holder. But the inside is cool too. Suggest me some colors if you want. I don't have hundreds, but uh, if you mix and match, you can get them. Well, until we meet again for new adventures, take good care of yourself. See you soon. Bye.